What's up guys, today we're gonna compare my old steel magnum versus a new steel magnum. This is BR800C and this is BR600. So that was about eight years ago I purchased that. Still starts really easily, but you have to set it down, press it a bunch of times, put it on half choke and crank it and then put it onto your back. This one is actually, as you can see, it doesn't have a start over here. You do all that choke, half choke, turn it off, press it six times. I already just started them. They start and work really good. Even after seven, eight years, still works really good. As you can see, this big difference, you pull it while you actually have it onto your backpack. So you don't have to set it down and break your back all the time starting it. Let's demonstrate the big difference. Also, as you can see, this one a bit bigger and taller. I like this couple new options they have. This little hook to keep it together. This adjusts and goes in and out easier versus this one have this kind of slides. I know, depends what you prefer. I kind of like this new design better. Pipe is a lot bigger, probably more powerful by now. But yeah, let's see how they start and what's the difference about them now. By the way, first of all, with this stuff, no difference. Really easy. Till your pieces, push a bunch of times, get some gas going. Filling up the gas, still on the same side as this one. But what you have to do, set it down and then put it on ice. Then you put it onto your back. And after you start it, you gotta put it onto your back, like a backpack. You can lock it and you can turn it off. But if you turn it off, now you have to take it off and restart it every time, which is more bending over, more things like that. In case you turn it off, you wanna start it again, you miss the spot. Okay, then you go. And then we can turn it off. Now let's see how we turn this one on instead. It's already been started and stuff. So what you do, I guess, is unhook that pipe. Okay, unhook that. Uh, looks like there's a whole bunch of stops, just like a camping backpack. The other one don't have them. Well, I need to release that, I'm too big. This is actually nice, you know, when you go camping and such. This is actually helps a lot. To distribute the weight from the shoulder so you grab it like that and just pull it evenly i'm a tall guy and as you can see it works with tall people no problem because this should be around your like waist there you go not too much on my shoulders but not only up here so how do we start it Ah, I guess one thing we forgot to do is still we gotta switch it onto like a half choke and stuff. You see it? I wonder if it will switch to I automatically. Takes a little bit of practice. This handle is so close, it's nice. Oh, you know what? This one is on the eye as well. There you go. There you go. Now it works. Turn back on idle. Uh, let's see if it start anyways. I think I figured it out how to pull it. Let's see, it's a lot easier to pull it whenever it's actually set up really nice. No wonder they put a belt on here because you gotta pull it and it's a lot of air. Okay, it's so nice. Nice, now that the engine is hot, it's starting up no problem. So, first time you're gonna have to put on half choke, start it. 
get your engine pretty hot after running it for a while so if you shut it off and you need to restart it or shut it off just for a few minutes and restart it again you don't have to take it off pump to your backpack that's cool shut it off again love it it works so well so that way if somebody come up to me and want to talk to me i can shut it off so that way we're not smelling that gasoline and we can actually hear each other and engine not running or if i need to like just stop for a few seconds or it shut off by itself i can restart it easily make sure it's on i and boom that thing is just awesome this is so much easier versus what i would have to do with the other one take it off set it on the ground put my foot on it crank it usually it's cranks with one time then you put it onto your back so as you can see it takes so many steps if you need to turn it off and off by mistake or it just uh, kind of died on you here you just like oh what happened done and one more time from the back so you guys can see you see the handle i love it this thing is amazing so yeah definitely a nice upgrade throughout the many many years but when i went to a store they actually had a bunch of like pull crank from the back when only one they had this one i guess it's new so that's pretty awesome love that design so much better so with the old one you got max speed lock or just i max speed or regular speed and then off versus this one you got it here off uh idle and then you can set it for like a smaller speed or lock max speed and this one is just a regular speed like whatever it does so but you can set it on smaller speed and you see a little bit faster and faster and maximum so highly adjustable that's kind of cool too uh, but everything else i guess this is cool too you can like unspin that and push it in for storage or you can pull it out so whenever we're done we're gonna push it in so that way it doesn't take too much space wow so if you want and should you get the old one or the new one i'll get the new one so much less work and then you have a little hooky set kind of like stores together 